Yep. All right, right when I turned the camera off. Got the skunk off the boat. A little smally on the fly. Feisty guy. Took it pretty good right along this wall. Let him go. Try to get another. All right, so tying this woolly bugger, I've got a size six streamer hook that I've paired with a brass cone head. I like the bright orange head on this one and also some lead wire to give it some weight and let it sink. Getting my thread started here, I'm gonna get it started just behind the lead. And then I'm gonna work a bit just to get that lead covered, get a good thread base going. This is a really easy fly to tie, one that I would lump into kind of a guide fly category. It's easy, but it pays off, and I can never have too many of them with me for any type of fishing, really. And now that I've got that thread base built up, I've got my thread to kind of where the bend of the hook starts. I'm going to tie in my marabou tail. This is just some brown marabou. I'm going with kind of a brown crawfishy color scheme with this one, but you can use whatever color scheme you'd like to use. And you can see that I'm actually tying this marabou tail in all the way up to the base of that bead. Uh, this is really just to get it tied in well so that a fish can't pluck it out, but also to build up the body of this fly some. So once I've got it tied in, tight at the base. I went all the way up, trimmed the feathers off, and then went back to the tail, getting ready to put in some flash here just to give it a little extra sparkle. And for that flash, I'm using two pieces, but to tie them in, I'm actually folding them around the thread, then bringing it to the top of the hook. And since I doubled it up, it's going to be four pieces of flash coming out the back. So just tying that in tight at the base of the tail, and then I'm going to trim it off maybe an eighth of an inch longer than the marabou. Now that the tail is done, it's time to tie in our body materials. The first of which is this just woolly bugger chenille. I'm using a brown color again, followed by a hackle feather here. So I'm going to take the feather and tie it into the side of the hook to get ready to wrap it and form the hackle. Uh, this isn't a very pretty hackle feather, but it is a woolly bugger. So it doesn't matter too much, just giving it that buggy appearance. It's not a dry fly or anything like that. With the feather tied in well, you can see that I've stopped the thread maybe a third of the way down the hook shank. That's because I'm going to tie in our rubber legs here. I'm just going to do two sets, but you can do as many as you please. Uh, you can load it up, or I just find two is good enough to give it that wiggly appearance, but not take too much time on the fly. So you can see I've turned the fly because I'm going to put one set on each side. Once again, just folding the leg in half around the thread and then tying it in. So I'm going to do one set on that side, then rotate my fly and do the same thing on the other side. I think these legs are perfect for this fly since they're brown like the body of the fly, but then they've got the hot tips on the end that match that bead. I will trim them once the fly is done, so don't worry about that end there. And now I'm just going to wrap the chenille to start forming our body. And here I'm just putting one wrap right in front of the other all the way up the hook shank till I get to these legs. And then I'm gonna get as close to them as I can before jumping in front of them, taking this all the way to just behind that bead where I'm then gonna tie it off and trim it off. All right, and with that body chenille done, the next order of business is to wrap our hackle feather. Um, I'm wrapping this just in even wraps, making my way up, and once again, gonna skip the rubber legs when I get to them. Gonna make sure that I don't get them caught beneath 
a wrap of the feather or anything like that. So I'm just going to wrap it all the way up to the front of the hook and then tie it off as well. Now all that's left is to add a couple whip finishes to this guy. Do a little trimming. So I'm going to trim the rubber legs, uh, just they're not hanging too far back. I'm going to trim them probably like a quarter inch longer than the tail. About right there. Do that on both sides. And that's all there is to it. This guy is ready to fish. I'm just casting this rubber-legged bugger with a hot head up against this rock wall and just letting it sink. Um, this is almost like trout fishing because I'm just cruising with the river and it's sinking, trying to get a good drift on it. So I had been trying stripping some, but that one ate it just on the dead drift. So, oh, another one just did too. All right, we might've figured them out. This one feels a little better too. Still got them on the strip fight, but let's see what we can do. Oh yeah, that's a much better one. Let's go. All right. Good little smallie. Come on. These guys are feisty. Gorgeous fish too. Let him go. Ooh. All right. We might have found the recipe. I'm gonna get some of this line reeled in. Let's see if we can get another. A little mend. Yeah, I'm just dead drifting it and watching the tip of that fly line for a bite. When it's sinking to about here is when I've been getting bites on those last two. And once it gets behind, I'm just kind of stripping it in, recasting. Right up against that wall. Got him. I thought I had one. Another little smallie. Oh, that one's pretty good. Another nice one. Beautiful gold color on these. Ooh, see you, fella.
definitely got to yield to those guys. All right, I don't know if you can hear that thunder, but I made it out just in time. Uh, I saw a couple lightning bolts as I was taking out. But anyways, today, just using the six weight St. Croix Imperial. And this is just a hot head woolly booger with some rubber legs. You can see that head is pretty dinged up. That's just from me casting right against that rock wall. So for this technique, again, just cast against the rock wall, let it sink along the wall, maybe twitch it a couple times and drift with the boat. Definitely want to try this one again uh, as soon as the weather clears up. But anyway, thanks for watching.